Hello YouTube. Today we're going to do a review on a German tank and some resin figures that I picked up for the next diorama project. Uh, first, let's go ahead and take a look at this box. That being the front of the box, the side, this is an older kit. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's in the box first. And then we'll check out all these resin figures and accessories that I got. All right. Open up the box. There is the top of the main body of the tank. As you can see, we got some detail there, which I like. Here is the bottom. And this one just happens to be one that you could put batteries in it to make it run. As I said, this is one of the older ones. You can still get these though. Okay. Here is the first tree. sprue as you can see we got some nice detailed parts there is the figure that comes with this this diorama that I'm going to do I won't be using that figure the weapon there are the treads those are pretty detailed. Those are nice. Okay. Here is some of the armor pieces for the side, which I have seen some very interesting pictures of these tanks and books from World War II. And I think I'm going to use that to my advantage. Maybe knock one of these out. Maybe dent it. Make it look like something hit it. You know, all kinds of possibilities. That too, that's really detailed. That looks really good. You see all these parts. Okay, and then we have our directions. Of course, here is the English version. Little bit of history on the tank as you can see inside the directions are fairly easy to read and let's see how this goes so that is always good and then of course this shows how you want to do your markings So that's pretty cool. And then here are the rubber treads. And they just, that piece comes off and they hook right in there. And then you get a hot screwdriver and push on it and melt it together. 
try super glue. I don't know. Sometimes I've had luck with that. Other times I haven't. It just all depends. So, and you get two of those. All right. There are the decals. Here. These are for the wheels so that you can make them turn. If you decide to make that battery operated. Or you can make it that way too if you just build it. And then here are... As you can see, they look pretty good, pretty detailed, like most Tamiya kits are. Even for an older kit that's been around for a while, this still looks great. And here are the rest of the tank parts. You got a lot of tools on this one. Not too many accessories with this, just, just the tools that come with it. No bags or anything or... Anything extra, you're kind of all on your own there. Okay, and that is the tank. Let's take a look at the resin figures that are going to go with this tank on the diorama. Okay, so this diorama, we're going to kind of go for a farm scene. So first things first, got some grass, make some hay. Uh, definitely probably going to be using some the, of the foam, insulation foam, to make some sort of a farmhouse with some balsa wood. Uh, but let's, oh, and then, of course, a piece of wood uh, to stain and varnish to set everything on top of. All right, let's take a look at some of these figures. Okay. These actually came together minus this barrel that I put in here. This was from something else that I bought. I got this off of Amazon a long time ago. Um, a lot of the stuff that came with this was used with uh, my milkman diorama with the Germans uh, milking the cow. If you haven't watched that video, check that one out see where a lot of the stuff that came with this went to but this was bought off of the amazon i just looked up 135th scale accessories okay so we'll look at the accessories that came with this first now i believe i ordered these it's been a while since i ordered these i believe i got these off of ebay so let's take a look at these so you got a wheelbarrow, which looks pretty detailed, pretty good. And here are the other parts to that. Got some pottery there. Okay, so that's the wheelbarrow. You got the Fence, fence post, which that looks pretty awesome, especially that fence. I mean, that looks cool the way it's kind of busted up and everything. It's like it's been around for a while. I like things that look like it's been around for a while. There's a trough. There's a bag of something. I don't know what that could be. It could be anything. Maybe apples, potatoes, they're kind of round, Let's say apples. And there's a pitchfork. Kind of lay all that stuff off to the side. And then, 
Let me get him out of here. We got the boy. And he. Oh, and his dog. Let's do the dog first. So we got the dog and its tail. And then here is the boy and his head. Take a look at the head first. Kind of looks like he's in amazement. Maybe some shock and awe. And here is the body. Which looks pretty awesome. Looks like he's got maybe an apple in his hand. Okay, and now we're going to see why he's in shock and awe. Sometimes these are hard to get out of the bags they send you. Okay, well first... There is, let's see, if I get these into focus. There's the arms with the wood for this, for churning butter. Okay. There is the stool that she's going to sit on. And here she is. So that would be why that kid's looking in shock and awe. She looks very good, very detailed. So she'll be hard at work churning butter as the kid's looking with his dog and apple. And then, of course, we'll have the tank park there. And I picked up these, which I believe were also from eBay. So these two German soldiers, are, we're going to make them tankers though, which look very good, very detailed as you can see. Now, one of these are a violin player, and the other one, if I can get the bag open... So one is a violin player, and that is this one, and the other one, and there's his arms, and the other one has a harmonica, if you can see that, it's kind of hard to see. There it is. Okay. And actually, it looks like I might be missing a hand. That kind of stinks. Yeah. I'm missing a hand, but that's okay. I've got... Oh, no. Okay, no. It's on. It's right there. <laughs> she didn't think that you're missing a hand like I did. Okay, so we have our harmonica player and our violin player. And there are actually, there were four men assigned to this particular tank. So I got two others that are just going to be kind of watching. And uh, I don't know whether they'll be watching the guys play so much as they will be watching that lady turning butter but here are the other guys that I got there are the bodies which as you can see they look excellent even the straps that's great detail the straps hanging I mean they look pretty good put those Right there, and take a look at their heads real quick. 
Now this came with two options for heads. There's one, which is a pretty neat, but I'm not gonna use those. This is gonna be more of a fall thing than a winter thing. And there's the one guy's hand. And these will be the heads that I'll be using with this diorama. And they look excellent. And they really look good. So those will be the heads that'll go with those. So that's something to look forward to. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked, please subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already, thank a veteran. Thank them for their service and everything that they've done for you. And God bless.